Welcome to the Plant Powered Podcast. My name is Rachel Margolis. And my name is Evan Reed. The plant we are going to be talking about is the Sonoma Spine Flower, and the scientific name for this plant is called the Coronsanthi Volita. This plant is part of the buckwheat family, which is also called the Polygonocyte. The flower has nine stamens, which are fused together to the perianth base. This plant is also only native to California and is seen growing at Point Reyes National Seashore in Marin County in Northern California. It only has about 30,000 individuals in its current population, and the plant is characterized by its white to rose colored flowers, which grow only from June to August. The spine flower seeds are dispersed by spines, which happen to be modified leaves, which attach the seed to passing animals. The pollen is also dispersed by honeybees, yellow-faced bumblebees, and solitary ground-nesting wasps. This plant is currently on both the California and federal government's endangered species list. In fact, it was thought to be extinct for over 77 years until it was refound at Abbott's Lounge in Point Reyes in 1980. Some current threats to the Sonoma spine flower include grazing, trampling from hikers, invasive species, and climate change. An example of invasive species that threaten this plant is the velvet grass, Holcus lanatus. Scientists have been working on several projects to get rid of this invasive species in Point Reyes and have also been working on reintroducing the Sonoma spine flower to other plots of land in an effort to get its population back. In fact, the Point Reyes National Seashore Company has installed experimental plots of over a thousand seeds in an effort to establish new colonies in the area. They also have won a grant from the United States Fish and Wildlife Service of $60,000 and have worked to remove invasive species, move a road that is fragmenting the habitat, and collect seeds to use for reintroduction and collect soil samples for analysis. In order to save the small population of 30,000 individuals, future steps need to be taken to continue to combat the invasive velvet grass. Some ways to remove an invasive plant species include controlled fires or releasing a biological control agent that feeds on only the invasive species. Another way to conserve the Sonoma spine flower is to continue reintroducing colonies and habitats that have never held the spine flower. However, we have to be careful that we don't put the spine flower in areas where it will become a pest. The plant's conservation status of endangered should be maintained as do the grants by the government to help maintain the small population at Point Reyes. We must ensure that the spine flower has enough genetic diversity within its population to maintain a healthy one. If we complete all these steps, people will be able to enjoy the spine flower all over California for many years to come. Thanks, Thanks for, for listening, listening and stay, stay green. green. <laughs> Two minutes of...